Hey guys, welcome back to the Disney Housewife channel. If you're new, my name is Heather. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of these beautiful gifts that I received from Nicole at Irresistible Magic. She sent me some beautiful items for my birthday and I wanted to go ahead and flip through the planner and this gorgeous seasonal happy planner sticker book that she sent me. So we're gonna go ahead and go through with the stickers really quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way for the time being. So this is the seasonal booklet and I had never seen this one before. Therefore, I had never purchased it before, but this is a really gorgeous book. I briefly flipped through it the day that I opened it on my channel. I will link that below if you would like to watch it. But this has 1,557 pieces in it. So let's go ahead and flip this little bad boy open and check it out. So first of all, there's just a few weather icons. We have the sun, partly cloudy or partly sunny, however you would like to put it. We have some snowflakes, the umbrella, and some clouds. And then we have some gorgeous birthday celebration stickers here. A lot of gold and pink and that blush color that has been so popular this year or this past year. And I love all of these colors. They're so perfect for us. And then we have a sheet here of all of these summery foods. It reminds me of the beach and going to carnivals and things of that nature. So there's watermelon and even some cute little ants for your picnic basket. All these cute little summer vibes. I absolutely love these. Look at that sand castle, how adorable is that? I'm loving all of the ice cream stickers too. Here are some reminders and to-do stickers, things to do for today and to buy some little header stickers. I really like these. I am a huge fan of these stickers right here. They are so cute and I love using them. Bonus that they are heart-shaped, right? <laughs> here are some more stickers here. Here we have more summer themed stickers like Summer Break, Brand Spankin' New Day. I like that one a lot. Choose Happy, Sweet Land of Liberty. That'll be really great for the 4th of July week planning. Really great stickers. I like that these are not super over the top and they're not so large that you can't use them. Um, I had a horizontal book last year and I had a hard time getting stickers that would actually fit and look right. So I'm really excited to have this more vertical look. Have a beach day. We plan on that. More 4th of July. I love that one so much. I seriously, I don't like the summer because I get so hot, but I really love all of these summer stickers and I love the 4th of July. Here we are into Easter. Look how lovely these are. I am gushing over these so much right now. I love the little umbrella with the raindrops. <laughs> these are just so lovely and right up my street. I love them so much. So we're getting to some spring colors. I think these are just gonna repeat for every season, just changing the color. So I think that's really cute. Oh, this is really cool. This says, Happy Mother's Day. Today is the day. Make this moment count. These are some really nice, nice stickers. I like this. Every weekend has a story. This is really cute. I like that a lot. Every, let me get that closer. Every weekend has a story. Isn't that great? We have more Easter, splish, 
Nope, that doesn't say that at all. Splash in rain puddles. That is so cute. Have a barbecue, bake cookies, shop at the farmer's market, dyeing eggs, go on a picnic, church, make a handmade valentine. Okay, so we got some valentine love crossing over on this page. And then I love this one at the top, spring bucket list. Isn't that lovely? And fly a kite. I have never done that with Michaela, so this might be the year that we do that. Some more of these beautiful stickers. Ooh, we have a St. Patrick's Day one popping in there. All the spring fun and festivities. Happy life, love, get it done. More beautiful spring colors. Ooh, we're getting into one of my favorite seasons ever, and this is into the fall season with Halloween and Thanksgiving and I really feel like the 2020 fall season and winter season has gone by so slowly or so quickly sorry so quickly that we haven't been able to truly savor every moment of it so I'm already wishing it was fall again and here are a close-up of these beautiful stickers look at that banner isn't that gorgeous start each day with a smile let's do this and here are some of those happy Halloween bats and then we get into Thanksgiving at the bottom. Oh, look at that, isn't it lovely? I love the wood grain background on that one. Just took my breath away when I saw that. And now we're getting into these same stickers again with fall and I love that they've added some gold ones in here so we get that little gold shimmer. It's so beautiful. And here again, same repeat with those stickers look guys can you even with this these are beautifully foiled with some gold trim it's not picking it up there we go there we go isn't that beautiful I saw this page whenever I did the initial quick peek when I opened it but they're just so pretty so pretty give thanks hello fall love this yes I do love this we have a few more sheets to go this one is also so much fun. We have a fall bucket list now. All these beautiful stickers. Give thanks. Ooh, Black Friday shopping. We don't need to do that. <laughs> I don't need to think about that anytime soon, but look at this. Read a book and roast s'mores, carve pumpkins. Can we just do that now? I'm happy to do that now. <laughs> And then visit a haunted house. I'll leave that to the more brave people, but that is not for me, obviously. And then this one is so pretty. Look at this. Donate. I'm sorry, my hands are so shaky. Donate to a family in need. I love it. And watch a scary movie. I'll leave that to Damon because he's the braver one out of the two of us. I used to love to watch scary movies, but I'm kind of a big chicken now. So I'll just leave that to him. Here are some more fall stickers. Look at this. Look at that. I love it. We have some more Halloween stickers in here. I'm loving this black and white stripe. Let me move that down so you can see it. Look at that. That is so pretty. You can even write on the white stripes of that. This one's really unique as well. The little spider. It's actually like newspaper or I'll give you a closer look of that or book text. Isn't that neat? That is so cool in my opinion. I love, love it. Some cute little potion bottles and poison bottles. And here we are in Christmas. I miss Christmas already, guys. I really do. Give you a close up of these. Truly is the most wonderful time of year, in my opinion. As you can see by our table, we have not taken our Christmas decorations down, and I don't plan to for another week. Just love to stay in the holiday spirit as long as I can, keep that magic alive as long as we can. Here are these stickers again, and this time we have like a teal foil metallic stickers, those are really pretty. more winter and Christmas fun.
that would be really pretty on a card for a handmade card or something. It's really pretty. Uh oh, I think I skipped a page. No, I didn't. Okay, now we're in the winter, so we have the winter bucket list. Read holiday books. Yes, please. down to our final two pages. So I'll just give you a close-up look at those. And then we'll move on to the planner. Look at those snowflakes. So beautiful. Here is our final sheet. It's another another page. That's gonna do it for this beautiful seasonal happy planner book. This says she blooms. It has gorgeous rose gold striping on it. And oops, here we go. Get some of that glue sticky stuff off of there. Sometimes they can get a little heavy handed with that, can't they? But it has a beautiful look. Um, we have these rose gold binders. Here's what the inside looks like. I'm a sucker for black and white stripes and this gives me Kate Spade vibes. I think I've said that before, not in this video, but definitely does. And then there is a welcome to your new happy planner. I don't need that in there anymore because we're about to use it since it's the new year. Keep blooming, this happy planner belongs to. So this is really pretty. Love all of these florals. Here we have the calendar for 2020 and 2021. That is a tongue twister. Try to say that, guys. This is something that floored me and made me so happy. I love these so I could actually go through and document everyone's birthdays or special dates or anniversaries. Things like that that I know are coming up. I can just, instead of flipping through all of the calendar for the whole year and flipping through all of the tabs trying to find when someone's birthday is, I can put it all on these sheets and then I can transfer it to the next year. I think that's really great. So we have one here for every month and um, every day of the week. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to use that. So this one actually starts off with July and we are way past July of 2020. So I am going to just show you a couple of these because these are so stunning. Um, I like keeping these. I don't know if anyone else does, but I um, I pull these off of every planner and then I pull my favorites um, of these dividers. Because I just think they're so pretty. This is something you could actually trim down and frame. Beautiful artwork for your home, for your bathroom or something, or just your bedroom. It is so pretty. This one actually says to live with purpose, to say the courageous thing, to celebrate the simple gift, follow your dreams. This is a happy life. Okay, so we will move on to August just to show you the front of this one. And like when we get into this year, then I'll give you a detailed look more of these kind of things. Here they are nailing it with the rose gold again. I'm going to make everything around me beautiful. That will be my life. What a beautiful statement. And I love their choice of floral colors in this one. Here is the September. This is more like the cover of the book. Just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And um, if you are a cricket maker, you could make a saying of your own. You could even throw in a pretty Disney quote, Alice in Wonderland or something since it's floral and frame it. And then October, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Just be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. What a wonderful statement because we all go through those moments where we're not, we're not doing much. But I thought this was really pretty and I love the color choices here as well. Here is another one um, representing the front cover. This is the identical cover actually, it says She Blooms. So we have this here on the inside for November. And then December, very simplistic floral, very beautiful and straightforward. And now we are in to January. So we're in the current state of mind here. And this is stunning. 
I actually have a planner. It's actually more like a notebook or a Christian type planner that they put out where you can also take sermon notes and everything. It has this exact floral pattern on it. And when I saw this, I just thought it was so pretty how they um, had that crossover within this to use the same pattern, but it is so pretty. So here for January, we have monthly goals, special days, and then um, a place for notes. And then we have the overview of the entire calendar. I love these light blue kind of periwinkle color, periwinkle, however you say that, but I love how it works so well with all of the rose gold in the middle. Just really beautiful, love the pastel color. And then here we go into the weekly, we have notes. And like I said, this is a vertical. Mine last year was horizontal and I struggled with it so much. Um, I felt like I was doing more decorating than being able to utilize it properly and I feel like this one I'm going to be able to utilize so much better with this layout so I'm excited to use this and weekly again get to the end of January here and show you what this looks like then we move on to February I I just can't with all of the colors this, this is a stunning planner this one says, wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. And that is a French proverb. And this one, we're gonna have a mix up of pinks and green. Green and blue is my jam right now. So anytime I see any green, I kind of get giddy over it because it's a newfound love for me over the past couple of years. So just think this is really pretty as well. And I love that the weekends are highlighted a different color. Here's how the weekly layout looks. Then we're gonna skip over to March. It looks like we're gonna have blue and green here. Again, very simplistic. Not a lot of space in it is going to be wasted. And here we are with that blue again. And weekly layout. And here we are in April. Back to this gorgeous burgundy and green. Oh my goodness, can you even? It is so gorgeous. Be present in all things. So we're back to the pink and green. And here is the weekly layout. Love all of the green trim on it. Absolutely my jam. We are now in May. And we're back with She Blooms in this gold. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. We're back to the blue. I think it's just gonna keep rotating the same colors over and over. So instead of blabbering about the colors, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through and I'll let you guys take a look. Have this place in the back for special memories and then we have this striped cover again i just think this is a absolutely stunning planner i love that it's practical and i'm not going to be wasting a lot of space so i am so ready to get started by decorating and utilizing this stunning planner thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys next time bye